Identify the condition below that is attributed to mutation in ENAM gene seen radiographically as generalized thinning of enamel. Looking at the image here, you see very stained and yellowish teeth. And structurally they look okay, but the enamel looks weird. Now enamel looks weird or dentine looks weird. That is a question. Dentine is the one that is uh, yellowish brown in color. Enamel is translucent. So if the enamel is thin, then the layer of dentine is highly visible, causing this kind of an appearance. Talking of the other things given in the question, which you should not miss out. It is good to focus on the image, but don't miss out on the other information. Enam gene, enamel you can think of here and generalized thinning of enamel. So this is a defect in enamel, not in the dentine. Okay. So if you look at the options, we have osteogenesis imperfecta, amylogenesis imperfecta, dentinogenesis imperfecta and fluorosis. Sometimes you may try to understand that this could be fluorosis, but again, mutation in the enam gene. So fluorosis is not caused by any mutation, genetic mutation. It is mostly an acquired state and if so, if it is congenitally transferred, it is from mother to child. Dentinogenesis imperfecta does not have this kind of an appearance. You will remember the uh, different types and the clinical variation in the bluish grey hue appearance. Osteogenesis imperfecta can be associated with amylogenesis imperfecta in one form of it. But primarily, this is a defect in the uh, enamel matrix formation and that is amylogenesis imperfecta imperfection in amylogenesis so there are four types of amylogenesis imperfecta there is a hypoplastic type there is a hypomaturation type there is a hypocalcified type and there is hypomaturation hypoplastic with torodontism This is purely a genetic condition with pitting kind of a defect or hypoplastic defect, smooth appearing teeth or rough appearing teeth, pigmented teeth, you know, snow capped teeth, hypocalcified teeth, variety of uh, clinical presentations of amylogenesis imperfecta. Many genes can be responsible, one of which is enam gene, then there is amylex gene, then there are other genes also which we will not talk about here but this in general is an X-linked recessive trait or dominant trait depending on the feature or the gene that is going to cause the defect. Now this is a genetic condition which is very commonly uh, confused with fluorosis but generalized thinning of enamel is one of the most clinical characteristic features on the radiograph. The correct answer here is amylogenesis imperfecta. Now the explanation here also talks about the enam gene which is associated with the enamelin protein okay and the mutation correlates to autosomal dominant and recessive patterns of the hypoplastic variety this hypoplastic enamel will have surface texture ranging from smooth to shallow grooves to rough with numerous pits that's all that's exactly what i told you okay and this is a different clinical presentation with a yellowish whitish appearance of the teeth and smaller teeth. So this is a hypoplastic type of amylogenesis imperfecta.